This is so cool. We are at one of the two dog-friendly trailheads and we're gonna go for a walk outside. So now we'll be sleeping outside in the mountains with less blankets than we do inside at our home in Florida. <laughs> Leave it to us to find a bear. That's so exciting. In our four years of travel, we've shared that life on the road isn't all staged photos and slow motion twirls. We're Tim and Finn, and whether we're stuck in the mud, stuck in the rain, or stuck at the border, we're sharing the unfiltered reality of it all. Subscribe to join the adventure on Tripped. Okay, this is before we go into the park because the dogs are not allowed on the trails inside the park. So we're going to do one here because it's beautiful. We don't have a film crew. We just have to put the camera somewhere and come back and get it. <laughs> but we do have an awesome editor that we like to shout out sometimes. So say hi, Rhett. <laughs> hi from sunny Bali. Hope to see you guys soon. Back to US. National Park. We are here with our dog Pepper and exploring the park with a dog. We're starting today down in the town of Cherokee on the Okanalefti River Trail, which is one of the two dog friendly trails in the park. We've seen lots of other dogs along the way, and Pepper's been having a great time with the local plants and <laughs> swimming in the river. We're taking you now through the park from the south side and we're going up to a pet friendly hotel in Gatlinburg and then we'll be camping with Pepper in the park. Okay, if you are coming to Great Smoky Mountain National Park, there are three different entrances. Since we drove up from the south, we're down in the town of Cherokee. Cherokee has a couple different places for accommodation, but we couldn't find anything last minute last night. So you know, book in advance. It's just like the town right outside of National Park. Our strategy right now is just to stretch our legs a little bit before we dive into the National Park and it's pet friendly. But this is cool. We are technically going into the park even though it's kind of just a walk-in entrance right here. And this is the first time we've ever seen Cherokee written, but it's on the sign here for the park. So that's pretty cool. So join us on this beautiful first hike in Great Smoky Mountain National Park. I saw a TikTok the other day and it was like, what's your dog's name? Pepper. What do you call her in front of other people? Pepper. What do you call her when it's just you guys? Pep. What do you call her when she's being bad? Pepper. <laughs> what what oh, do you call her when she's being really bad? Oh, the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call her uh, when she's being really cute? Beep pop, beep pop. <laughs> I can't remember the rest, but... <laughs> That's cute. This is definitely the trail with everybody here with their dogs, so I definitely recommend checking this out. There's a whole beach area and the river, it follows the river the whole way, so um, they can stay nice and cool and get water <laughs> the whole hike. This is amazing. We still barely know how to use cameras, but we have come a long way since using the binoculars to shoot through it. Was that Yellowstone? Yeah, yeah. Here, look, it's 
it's a moose out in the distance. I promise. Look how big that lens is. She must know what she's doing. She must know exactly what she's doing. Is she doing. some sort of professional? Are those elk? Welcome to our nature documentary. What kind of animal is that? What kind of mammal? These are female elk. When will your footage be premiering on planet Earth? Yes. Well, I'm shooting some extra B-roll for planet Earth in case uh, we just need some extra really great stuff. This is insane. We don't need this. It works hardly better than this. Okay. Well, really, really nice seeing the elk here at the entrance. It's just staying consistent with um, wildlife viewings at the entrances of national parks, <laughs> causing quite a traffic jam of everybody, the gaper delay of <laughs> watching the wildlife. But they are used to the cars. They're just hanging out. Wait, we almost forgot. <laughs> We're pulled over at the entrance of the park so that Finney can queue up Gypsy Guide. And it's just a GPS-led audio guide app that plays through the car. But because you don't have service in the national park, it's hard to look up things on your phone and on the internet. It's impossible. But GPS still works. And the app knows where you are, even when you don't have service. And it says like, we're coming up on a turn, turn right. So we're going to start since we're right here at the entrance and off we go. Looks like we're ready to go. Woohoo! It's the same guy. Should we give him a name? Buddy. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Because he's our pal. Okay. Why don't we quickly turn into the parking lot at the Econolefty Visitor Center. Now, before we even get there, we may see one of the park's elk herds grazing away in the grassy meadow on our right. That at is peak a times, meadow. there can be a few dozen elk here. Sometimes with deer, even wild turkeys mixed in. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out Down with my own doubts Be free with me Be free Be free with me Be free Not looking back Eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche, we're on the run, this is what we waited for. Here at the Gap and for the first time we're seeing the most amount of cars that we've seen yet in the park. We are here on a weekday which is a smart move and we're just lucky that we have that flexibility but this park is the most visited national park in the United States and it's fun to see all of the license plates. So if you missed the last video before this we were talking all about road tripping and I think that's one of the reasons why this park is the most visited because it's so easy just to hop in your car and come here. That's also why we brought Pepper along for this journey because uh, you can do the same thing with your dog too. I thought the Smoky Mountains would be a little smokier than this. <laughs> Man. But John Denver was full. <laughs> we are lucky. Wow. The train just left this town While I'm slowly heading back to my apartment I'm not asking for your thoughts I'm just Pepper, you've been to Yosemite, Yellowstone, Tetons, Denali, Big Bend, Virgin Islands, Grand Canyon, Carlsbad, Glacier, Sequoia, Banff from Jasper up in Canada. What are you feeling now in Smoky Mountain? Like, what do you think? All right, riveting. Great stuff. Thank you.
I'm so glad that we're taking this like pet friendly approach to this specific video because while we typically have our dog with us, we're a super small percentage in a place like Yosemite or Yellowstone, let's say. But here, there are a lot of dogs. There's a lot of dogs around here. This is a that same reason. People are just, this is drivable for so many people and people are just throwing their dogs in the car. So um, You can't go camping without your dog. I'm so excited to go camping with her. You gotta bring your dog. But first, we have to go see the highest point in the park. And I'm excited that we've saved it for hopefully it was coming up on golden hour right before sunset. Well, great. Looks like we're going to go see Klingman's Dome. Great choice. If you're not familiar, the AT is a 2,190 mile continuous trail that follows the spine of the Appalachian Mountains from Georgia to Maine. Yeah, oh, this looks like a parking spot that's pretty good. This is a very doggy blog today. It is a doggy blog. This is a very, very doggy now, blog. Now, Pepper, um, I'm going to need you to write a dog blog article about this experience here today. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll know that Pepper always gets the employee of the month for our trip travel gear business. It's really frustrating because I feel like I've been putting in a lot of work recently and Nevertheless, Pepper. You're not the first person to feel that way. You feel that way too? What? No, I'm the one who votes on it. <laughs> well, there's three of us and Pepper keeps winning somehow. Oh. Okay. You feel Follow better her now? example and I'm sure you'll have a good chance. <laughs> Look how awesome she looks. How else is anybody going to win? I mean, I never looked that good. Welcome to Klingman Dome. <laughs> this is the highest point in the park and we have been enjoying the parking lot views for the past hour, but because we haven't even been up to the best viewpoint yet, we've been saving it for a sunset here. Come with us now for arguably the best view in the park. Come on, Pepper. We are at 66, 43 feet. And finally, <laughs> We've been too blessed with a beautiful sunny day. We are starting to see the smoke in the Smoky Mountains. So majestic. I mean, really. Huh. Oh, cool. If you're new here, you might not get the reference until tomorrow night when we go camping, but for our returning subscribers, the family in front of us, as we're walking down, <laughs> is laughing. They're like, turns out we didn't need that bear spray because we got the loudest family on the planet. <laughs> Singing songs going down. <laughs> we just thought that was very fun that this family is being very bear aware here in the park <laughs> at the most popular point. <laughs> Not to say that you don't need to always be bear aware. It's being bear aware. Burr! 
sure. Well, it certainly cools off at night. We're lucky tonight because we are staying in a pet-friendly hotel in Gatlinburg and then tomorrow night we'll be camping. So hopefully we're warm enough. But I mentioned it in the previous video. We just found this bookingcredits.com. It's essentially cheaper than a Travelocity or an Expedia. So I'm just excited to continue to try this out to then see how they're paying the cash back with credits because if you've been following us, you know we're so into travel hacking and that's how we traveled around the world for a year essentially on points. So I'm excited to pay for the hotel room and with my credit card and get the points, um, but then also get the cash back on bookingcredits.com. So off to our pet friendly hotel in Gatlinburg. Wow, that really starts and ends. Wow. I've never seen a national park like that, like, cause with no entrance or like, here's the town. That transitioned like a video game. It's wow. Like forest city. Whoa, this is crazy. This is kind of what I was expecting, but this is like even more actually. Wow. Oh, okay. There she is. I bet this is awesome views in the daytime. This is gonna be amazing. Welcome to downtown Gatlinburg. I'm so excited about this hotel find. This is so tall and obviously has this awesome view. And there's so much to do downtown that includes going up mountaintops, but I think the balcony on this hotel room is better than the sky tram and the, some other aerial thing you can see in the distance that brings you up higher. So uh, if you wanna save money on some activities, you could just <laughs> tell your kids to look out the balcony <laughs> window at the hotel. Anyways, we're excited to get back into the park. We're going now to the second dog-friendly trail hike, the Gatlinburg Trail here in town. Maybe first grab some food, Tim. And then tonight's our night of camping. So we were really excited about the shower here in the hotel, but uh, tonight will be fun too. Hi. Okay. I'm a travel trail. Some sandwiches from the health food store and a bottle of locally made dry red from the winery. I think the first 15 minutes out of the hotel room have been a success. Whoa, uh, the park wasn't feeling so crowded yesterday, but I think everybody's just here in town and Gatlin there is a lot to do, so I think that's why a lot of people are here. It's a bit too many people for us right now. We're not currently vaccinated, so we're just sticking to the kind of like outdoor camping park stuff. Um, but there is a lot to do. That's taking us right here to the Gatlinburg Trail on the edge of town. Nice parking spot. Hi there. You want to go for a walk? Yeah? Is it Gatlinburg? Okay, here we go. It's all the craziness of downtown Gatlinburg. And just that far this way, you can already see it's peace and serenity over there. I'm excited to head this way. Does this really count as hiking? I feel like it's just walking. What, hiking, you have to be going up? There has to be hot. This is just too level, yeah. <laughs> it's not paved, so it's hiking.
Nothing gets Finny charged up like going the opposite direction of traffic. <laughs> I do love doing things in the opposite way of everybody else. Heading into the park at 3.30, that was everybody leaving who spent the day here. There's just as many hours of sunlight on this side of the afternoon. The next turn to the left is for Elkmont. Unless we're using the campground, there's not really a need for us to turn in and we can just continue on. We are using the campground. We're in an area called Elkmont. And though it's wild and thick with trees now, that wasn't always the case. And for a few weeks in early to mid-June, they come to see a rare sight. Synchronous fireflies. What am I talking about? Well, rather than blink their bioluminescent abdomens at random, the Elkmont fireflies blink as one. As you can imagine, it's an incredibly popular thing to see. So the park controls the crowds and protects the fireflies by holding an online lottery for parking passes and shuttle tickets to the firefly field. If we're here at the right time of year, it's definitely something to ask about at the visitor center. That is a huge draw in this park. People book, you know, a year in advance. When I was booking our campsite here, I could see that those weeks at the end of May and early June were, you know, <laughs> booked out way in advance. I will try to find a clip of synchronous fireflies to include for you all because nature. I just love nature. We just finished Long Way Up. And in the show, there's a scene where Charlie Borman is setting up his brand new tent. He's never set up before around some volcanic lake. And we're sitting there laughing ourselves, be like, who brings a tent out that they've never set up to make sure that they're, you know, all the parts are there, how to set it up? It's, it's us, it turns out, it's a, I mean, there's still tags on it. Why, why do we have a new tent, Tim? If you go back to the video where I do the Dalton Highway, there's a point where I'm driving and my tent and my sleeping bag disappear off the back of my motorcycle. I lost the sleeping bag and the tent off the back of the scooter, <laughs> scooter, motorcycle. I feel like an idiot right now. God, they just suck. I left my heart in Alaska and my tent. So now we'll be sleeping outside in the mountains with less blankets than we do inside at our home in Florida. <laughs> but of course we remembered everything for Miss Face. Um, excuse me, honey, come here, look, we got you something. So we've got the car seat. Can you go in bed? Come on, okay. Go see that. And then um, that cute little dog carrier thing hit this. Thank you, come. Oh, that's plenty. She's gonna be so cozy tonight. That's plenty, oh. Is this for you? Is this for you? What is this? What is this? I don't know. What is this? <laughs> this is the stupidest. What? Wait, this is huge. Oh, I'll use this. Wait, oh, wow. Is this a dog? I'm. But we should use this for us. That's for a Labrador. Wait, wait, this is way too big. Is this for your bed? Good, yep. Good. Good job. This is so cool. I am holding 
the very first product from my first graduated student from FBA EDU, which is the Amazon FBA course I created during the pandemic that teaches people how to become F Amazon FBA sellers like we are. And it is neat that we're camping and it's a camping tool. It's a multi-use. I had just had to shout you guys out Ventured Trails because I'm just so excited and such a proud teacher. And, uh, Go, go check out Ventured Trails and this product if you are into hiking or camping because it was just a viewer like you who now is an Amazon FBA seller. Congratulations guys, I'm so excited. Tonight for dinner we'll be served chicken, peppers, and foil and uh apples and foil. I don't want to brag or anything, but is this some sort of music festival? Is this some sort of retreat? No, no, I just threw up some tasteful LEDs over there. It looks incredible. Para esta noche, tenemos pollo a la plancha. Ah, pollo a la plancha más caliente. Oh, baby. Oh, now it's steaming. That's what the reveal was supposed to look like the yeah. first time. Now, no matter what, I'll go, ah. Ah. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> now, this is really good if we had cinnamon. But just the sugar from the apples makes it like, oh, look at that. Just tastes like apple pie or something. I eat this a lot for breakfast, um, even just in the microwave with cinnamon and oatmeal sprinkled on. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm glad you clarified with the microwave, like you don't go build yourself a fire. In the well, as often. <laughs> oh, yeah, it tastes like apple pie. Oh my god, it's just an apple. Nothing. Just cut it up. Oh my gosh, wow. What are you doing? Heating the stick? I'm cleaning it. There's only two types of people in this world. Those that roast marshmallows by the coals and those that roast in the flame. And if you roast in the flame, you're just wrong. She wants to be cozy. <laughs> She's cold. She I know, wants to go here. under. Night night, Pepper. Night Pepper. <laughs> Good morning. You look so small in there. This tent was an awesome size. Look, and then we brought those lights in here. This is really great. Yeah, yeah. I like it's not one of those backpacking tents where the it's like <laughs> the ceiling is this low. Looks like we're ready to go. I mean, of course. Absolutely! Of course. I know everyone wants to see a bear. Woo! We'll get to that. Okay, it's not much further, and we'll officially enter the 11-mile Cades Cove Loop Drive. 
It's one way and we drive around counterclockwise. At the arrival area, we'll find the Cades Cove campground store, as well as bicycle rentals and the actual campground. Leave it to us to find a bear. That's so exciting. Um, and it must have just happened because the park volunteer just showed up and he put his vest on to keep people moving and... <laughs> away from the bear. And away from the bear. <laughs> you never know what people are gonna do. So this is uh, so cool. So cool. I think a very bear aware moment is the perfect way to wrap up our time here in Great Smoky Mountain National Park. I, we're so lucky that we got to see that. I know, at the buzzer as we're <laughs> like getting buzzer. ready to do the last thing. <laughs> <laughs> we will be exiting through the town of Townsend. So now we've gone in and out of all three entrances to the park and back to Florida for us. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and we will see you in some of our other videos. <laughs> if you're enjoying this and you're new here and you made it all the way this way, Check out the other great content that we have on this channel. Lots of national parks. So many road trips. So many road trips. So any of that summer road trip planning that you have coming up, you can see all of the other uh, great USA content that we have on our channel, mostly due to the fact that we lived in an RV in 2018 and drove from Florida to Alaska. So saw a lot of the country during that. I don't know why I was just talking about all that, but you made it this far with us already. So there's, there is more to explore and we'll see you next week for our next adventure. Yeah.